Axel, you're up. Can you show your screen, Axel? Yeah, let me just, let's see. All right, can you guys see it? It's, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so uh, let's just start off with, um, you know, there have been some great presentations today, but uh, allow me to be the black sheep of the group. Let's do this. So my name is Axel Kim. I'm a first year, and today I'll be doing a personality, personality analysis of uh, the fictional character from the show Parks and Rec, uh, Mr. Ron Swanson. So who is Ron Swanson? Ron Swanson is a staunch libertarian, fully committed to making the government as slow and ineffective as possible. In order to achieve this, Ron realized he needed to take matters into his own hands. As he puts it, he needs to bleed the beast from the inside. So he works as the head of the Parks and Recreation Department. And let's talk about some of his qualities. He's a duty-bound achiever. So as head of the Parks and Rec Department, he uses his powers to hire the right people for the job which means he hires the most incompetent, lazy, and just outright childish employees, as shown here. Next, even under, yeah, next, um, he'll find any way to slow down the government, as shown by this little video, such as being a hostile witness. Axel, we can't hear the sound of the video. No. No, well, he answers everything with the question. We'll just leave it at that. So they ask him a question. He answers back with the question. Also, witness gets around it, slows down the government. Oh, let's see. And next, another quality. The man is unyielding and headstrong. You might even say he has an iron will. As a man, he only eats. He is a man who only eats meat and hates vegans. He'll make sure that the food that his food eats never touches his lips. When a coworker offers him a salad, he outright refuses. When the same coworker is only cooking vegan steaks, he drives to the nearest diner where he asks him to give him all the eggs and bacon he has. They have. And in a literal sense, all the eggs and bacon. Now, his unyielding character will never succumb to the weight of any sort of pressure, whether that be hurting a coworker's feelings because he won't eat their food, or in this little gif right here, he's made more public, he's made more available to the public, and he still does his job of making the government as slow and ineffective as possible. Now, and the next one. With his two traits of being a duty-bound achiever and a man with an unyielding will or an iron will, he uses his, this, these traits to become a great leader. So he coaches a youth basketball team and he raises the boys into men where they will finally become Swansons, utilizing the Swanson pyramid of greatness. He outlines acceptable political views and acceptable hair acceptable haircuts to raise the ideal man he continues to prove himself as a leader when well i don't know if this video is going to work but uh he teaches the youth about our local government can you guys hear no for some reason the sound is not coming through and i'm not sure why all right that's all right well basically this young girl right here needs to do a presentation about why the government matters well seeing this problem he realizes he needs to take matters into his own hands he needs to show this child why the government doesn't matter so he talks about how taxes work where let's see if we can find it can't find it well he eats 40 percent of her lunch and then with the capital gains tax he eats even more for lunch and with that little show she finally realizes why government doesn't matter a true leader very informative so oh god now, for some of his qualities, once again, he's a duty-bound achiever. He has an unyielding will, or once again, as you could say, an iron will. And most importantly, he's a leader. So combining all of these, what personality, what remedy does he kind of fit to? Well, with my poor management skills, I decided that he fit most closely to Era metallicum with the iron will and a very stoic attitude, as you can see by, uh, let's see, his mustache right here. Just that look. It's very cold. It's very metallic, just very stoic. And there we go. Thank you for listening to this uh, wonderfully put presentation. 
Thank you, Axel. I'm so sorry that we couldn't hear the video. I wondered if it was something to do with the ear pods and it's not coming through your computer, but yeah, maybe it's sorry. It was just to beef up the time of the presentation. So sorry. I, I watched it personally and it was pretty funny. So um, does anyone have any questions for Axel about Ferrum Metallicum? No? All right. Well, well Great. done, Great. Axel. Bravo. Thank you. That's thank really you. great. Yeah, let's give a round of applause to Axel. It was a lot of fun. Thank you.